Yeah, just a quick look at some of the eyepieces I use with the ETX90. Um, the one they supply is the uh, 26 Super Plus L, uh, relatively inexpensive eyepiece. It comes with the uh, ETX90. It gives you 46 power. That doesn't sound like a lot, maybe, but last night we were reviewing, uh, we had it on the AutoStar, which locates objects, which is built into the system here. And we were looking at well over a dozen deep sky objects very quickly, and including M27, a Dumbo Nebula in Cygnus, and Smoke Ring Nebula in Lyra, uh, which is, by the way, near magnitude uh, 10, plus 9 magnitude. Not very bright, but it's very condensed, easy to see. And uh, we saw Andromeda, but we saw the core of it. It's a huge galaxy. It's probably our nearest galaxy to our own Milky Way. Anyway, you see a lot with just a low power eyepiece. And even Jupiter, you could see it was big enough to see some detail with just 46 power. But more serious viewing, if you want to start to see detail better, you need to go 100 on up for planetary viewing. And uh, so you just using the same lens, 26 millimeter, you use a Barlow, and it simply doubles the power, so you have close to 100 power with just these two here with simply the Barlow and the low power eyepiece. So that gives you a nice selection just with two pieces of equipment. Now I do have a Nagler, but I use that for the uh, larger telescope. It's a four millimeter. It's gonna give too much power for this telescope here. But I did run into my prized eyepiece that I have right now for planetary viewing. It's a Clave, made by France. And they, they have very high uh, rating on these. It gives exceptional viewing for uh, planetary as it's an 8 millimeter, which would give you, and this ETX, I think it gives around 140 to 150 power. And believe it or not, it handles it very well. Uh, gives superior, very nice views. I like this. I had to get it from uh, an importer out of California. But that's probably my favorite eyepiece that I have. Most will uh, enjoy the wider views and even the 26 millimeter, they go to a 40 that gives you even a wider view and, and get a lot of the loose clusters, which are very huge. So even this 26 millimeter, uh, many will favor an eyepiece even bigger, actually a lower power with a larger opening. Gives you a magnificent view. So it depends which way you want to go, what you're going to be looking at. So that's a quick rundown of what I use.